A few weeks ago, we featured a couple of reports from longtime viewer producer Zulima Palacio. Zuli is now retired from The Voice of America, and we're missing her great work, aren't we? Indeed, we are. But I did have the chance to sit down with her before she left to talk about some of her more unusual assignments, including her underwater shoots. Yeah. So it is off to the ocean that we go again, but this time in more dangerous waters. Let's take a look. These divers have paid to watch Cristina Renato feed and pet sharks. The 11 kilos of metal mesh over her suit will offer some protection from a shark attack. The spectator divers watch as Cristina puts herself in the middle of the shark's meal time by feeding them frozen fish. It's very hard to love a shark, especially after the name that these animals have. It's a fish, it's cold-blooded, you know, it's a, it bites and has sharp teeth. So by kissing it, I show them how much I close and personal you can get, how comfortable they can be and how much they allow you to do. That's the reason why I cuddle them and I kiss them. Um, I wouldn't say they really like it, but it definitely doesn't disturb them. We went to the Bahamas and there is a, a, a spot in the water, in the Bahamas Islands, that is called Shark Junction. And sharks, like, I don't know, maybe about 10 different species of sharks, they come in there by the dozens. Mm. Um, and so we, we went there with this woman, Italian woman, who feeds them and gives a show for the divers to see it. And it's quite interesting because they all come, they know they're going to be fed with uh, a tube of frozen fish by hand. So, but the feeder is the only one with a mesh. All of us have nothing to protect <laughs> us. So <laughs> it is... And uh, how close are you actually to the sharks? Right there. Wow. Oh, right there. They go right by you, right by you. One of them, I had my camera, I was, uh, we were on, on our knees on the bottom. And so I was staying put with my camera and a shark came right straight into my lens. Boom! Yeah. And I was filming, I never stopped filming. And so he knocked me out and, you know, got in the floor, get back up, pick up the camera. And then later on I asked the marine biologist, what was that? And he says, well, they are scavengers. They don't look for a fight. You had not moved. He was checking on you and see if you were dead. If you were dead, he would come back and munch on you. But if you were not dead, he's not willing to give the fight. So he left you alone. <laughs> oh, wow, I can't even imagine being under there. And also, you're not only having to think about where you are and where the sharks are, but also about filming. What are some of the different concerns that you have when you're shooting underwater versus a normal shoot? Oh, there are big differences. Number one, there is no way to put a tripod. The second one is, there is no such a thing as zoom. In the, the water is 800 times more solid than air. And so if you zoom in, all you're going to see is a fuzzy type of thing. Mm. So you, you either do a big wide shot or you come really close to the animal to get a close up. That is incredible. The other thing is at about seven meters deep, there is no red. The red disappears because of the light diffraction. So you have to use either a red or um, filter, or then nowadays much easier to, um, to do a color correction in the computer. Now you also did another sort of dangerous uh, feat. You actually got married underwater. It was which the is most fun incredible. wedding I have ever been. <laughs> I imagine it looked like so much fun. We only had like 10 guests, everybody in a bathing suit, and everybody jumped in with us. The wedding party, consisting of a few close friends, assembled on the sandy bottom. Zulima and Chris were married by Captain Slate Spencer. This will be his 120th wedding. Most of them performed here, beside the Statue of Christ of the Abyss. As the wedding party assembles beside and above the statue, Captain Slate begins to read the vows, pointing with his finger. Then, Zulima and Chris sign, I do. So why do you think it's important? Why has it been important for you to bring these underwater stories to 
the viewers, the VOA viewers? You know, nearly, nearly 80% of our planet is water, is ocean. Between throwing all the trash and all the plastics to acidity in the water, to global warming, the level of our oceans, of the life, of the coral reefs is, is dramatic, is scary, and um, all the scientists and even the government has sound the alert about saying, you know, if we really kill our coral reefs, um, they are the birthplace of most of the, the sea life. If we kill those, those uh, nurse, nurse rings, it's going to be very serious. Well, some incredible video from Zuli. I don't know that I would be that brave. It's amazing. I, every time I see her work, I'm amazed. Yeah, well, again, Zulima Palacio was our environmental reporter. She just retired from VOA, and we are very much missing her.